Miss Laney and welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope your day is going really well. I am coming to you fresh faced because it is 80 plus degrees in my house right now. This is the third time our air conditioner has broken the last month and it never fails. It is when we get a hot spell. Last week we had lows of 55 and now it's like 90 to 100 degrees and of course that's when the AC breaks so I did not feel like putting on makeup so I didn't. But I did put pink in my hair so that's kind of fun and new. That has nothing to do with today's video. Today is all about my August perfume tray. I have some thoughts and my September tray, which actually will be what I'm taking on vacation because we're getting ready to head out to go visit my grams down in Florida. So I'm very excited to pack. For vacation, I've got some things in mind. If you want to hear all about it, make sure you click that subscribe button and join the fam. You won't regret it. And let's just jump right in. I honestly really enjoyed August tray. I feel like most things got a decent usage, some things more than others, but I feel like that's typical when Whenever you do a fragrance tray. I actually found that I really like the Cloud Musk by Mix Bar. I like it a lot. If you like Glossier U, this is so similar. Uh, I love this. I think it's beautiful, sophisticated, but now it's getting a little redundant in my collection because I have Glossier U and I have Aura's 22 by Letta, so I think I'm going to pack this and see if my Grams likes it. I feel like it's something she would like. I did reach for Salt Petals and Passion Fruit Nectar by Mix Bar. Passion Fruit Nectar is actually really growing on me. I wasn't the biggest fan at first, but in the heat, this juiciness is lovely. Then Salt Petals is sophisticated, a little salty, floral, marine. I personally love to pair these two together and think they're a beautiful combo. I just wish the longevity was better. One that I think is so beautiful, juicy, and perfect for high heat is Dossier Floral Rhubarb, which smells exactly like Marc Jacobs Perfect. I almost like this a little bit better. Such a good summer fragrance. Then one that for some reason right now I'm not loving as much as I have in the past. It is Fruity Honey by Dossier, which smells like Jo Malone honey and is it like honey nectarine and honey for some reason i don't know if it's the weather the season but i'm picking up a lot more of like the green leaves in here than anything else i can do a little green in my fragrances but this is like very green i don't know if it's because i've had it so long maybe the way it's macerating that that's just getting stronger this one i'm on the fence about if i'm going to keep it in my collection just because that greenness is kind of i don't know just not my favorite i'll probably give it another season just to be sure my dua vanillic dreams just a really pretty basic vanilla it is supposed to smell like tohoda i've never smelled that so i can't say if it does very musky sweet creamy vanilla pretty standard vanilla if that's really what tohoda smells like i would never pay that price tag for it because this is just like a generic vanilla. Lovely, but generic. One of my favorites that is discontinued and I don't, I just don't know why they did this to me. Royal Rebel by Good Chemistry from Target. So affordable, but truly one of my favorites in my collection, if not my favorite. I wore this to work the other day. My coworker was like, you smell so good. What are you wearing today? And I was like, well, sadly it's discontinued. This is the most ambery, warm, cozy, bubble gummy, Honestly, very unique fragrance in my collection. There's nothing else like this in my whole collection. I don't know why they discontinued it. I love it. I try not to overwear it, but I enjoy it so much that I had to bring it out in August. More a winter fragrance, honestly, but I love it, so I don't care. And I paired it with the Fenty, that cinnamon winter body butter. It smells like a cinnamon roll. The two together, heavenly. One of my favorites in my collection and also one of my husband's favorites in my collection, he always compliments this one and he doesn't notice fragrance very often, so that says something. This is Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun. It is a woody raspberry with a makeup note in there that I really enjoy. I wore this to the gym one day and the girl working the desk was like, what are you wearing? You smell so good. A new one in my collection, Golden Nectar by Nest. I really like this. Also a little bit unique in a way, kind of reminds me of Royal Rebel in this very warm, cozy amber effect, but this definitely has a makeup note as well. And I really like that. That's what makes this one interesting to me. 
is why I had to pick it up. I go nose blind to this though. Like I feel like, oh, it's not really performing. It's not lasting. But the other day I wore a shirt to work, sprayed myself down in this, and I do spray pretty heavy on this one. And then two days later, picked the shirt back up to wear it again. And I definitely could still smell it. In fact, I put my two mix bars over top and this is still what was coming through uh, while I was at work. So it does last. I just go nose blind to it. The last one that I wore a couple times that I don't know if I like it or not. This is Alt Senorita number 17, which is supposed to be a um, Aventus for her clone. And it's a little masculine to me. It's kind of a good gym scent because there's something kind of refreshing about it, clean, but it is pretty masculine. Like a guy could definitely wear this and no one would question like, oh, is that a woman's fragrance? Because it's, it's definitely unisex, but I feel like it's got a toe into masculine, so I don't know if I love it. I only reached for coconut cream pie one time. I really like this body spray. Even though it's coconut, that's why I reached for it because I was like, oh, summer coconut. But this kind of, I feel like it's so gourmand that it's probably better in winter. This is an interesting one, Confetti Daydream. We have notes of fresh raspberry sparkling pear and blue iris and sometimes i smell this and i think it smells like a blue popsicle and then i really like it and then other times i smell it and it's got this harsh kind of fabric softener smell in there there's just it's just, it all depends on what i get from it if i get that more raspberry vibe then it makes me think of a blue popsicle and i really enjoy it but then other times it's like dryer sheets or laundry detergent. I don't know. I'm on the fence with that one too. Cloud Nine, Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. I honestly don't know if I picked this one up at all. I cannot lie. I'm not sure. Did I use this? There's something about this one I definitely enjoy more. This has that sweet, fluffy, a little bit cotton candy vibe in there, so that's kind of more my thing. While not going too sweet, it is kind of a pretty body spray. I don't think I picked this up all month. I really do not. One that I wear a lot, as you can tell, this is one I spray myself down with all the time. I definitely wear it to the gym. I wear it not to the gym when I'm going places. Like This is an all the time fragrance for me, vanilla and dreamy by pink. I'm not a huge Victoria's Secret body spray fan, but this one, I reach for it a lot. It is a very fluffy vanilla. That is one of the notes. Golden caramel and coconut cloud. I just get a really fluffy vanilla that just pairs beautifully with anything I'm wearing. It always just smells really nice. I don't have to overthink it when I put it on and I can really spray myself down. And this is a lighter fragrance, but for some reason, it really lasts on me and I can smell it for quite a while for being a body spray. And then a body spray I also use all the time. Like, look at that. I have not had this that long. This is like my favorite Sol de Janeiro fragrance they've ever done. 59. Oh my goodness. This has notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. There is the most like toasty vanilla in here. And I think it's something about the way the vanilla and the sandalwood come together. It's so cozy. It is perfectly sweet but there's a depth to the vanilla that's very interesting. I wear this all occasions, all day long. I absolutely love this, and for being a body spray, I will spray heavy with it, and it really lasts. Like, I can smell it for days on my clothes. Now, here's the exciting part. We're going on vacation. We're going to Florida, so I'm thinking sunny, tropical vibes. I'm also thinking I want to use this as an opportunity to use some samples that I normally don't reach for, travel sprays. I only plan to take, I think, one full-size bottle just because I get nervous about breaking bottles when we're traveling and throwing our suitcases around. So that's my thoughts, but you never know. It might change when I get over there, so let's go pick out some stuff. The main bottle that I know I want to bring is Letta Isla Coco because this is a very tropical summertime fragrance and I want to get a good wear out of it. It is new in my collection. I bought it secondhand on Mercari. So I'm very excited to give this a real wear. This is pretty sophisticated, so I wouldn't just like wear this for headed to the beach or anything like that. This is classy in my opinion. Part of me really wants to use these scent birds up, but then part of me also really wants to take all of my Julianas. I also want to take some of these and these. So let me think for just a moment and we will reconvene. Okay, I didn't fully stick to the plan. I didn't reach for my usual go-to's for when we go to Florida. I'm trying to think, is there anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so. So I'm really thinking this time, the only full bottle I will bring is my Letta Isla Coco Sophisticated 
summertime in a bottle. Haven't really given it a wear yet with saving it for the trip. I decided to pack all of my Juliana's travel sprays because the size is just so perfect and I have a good variety here. Time for romance, uh, a dupe of Minuet Demi. So that would be a good evening fragrance. Beautiful Bella, which I absolutely love, is a clone of Dama Bianca, which is just a gorgeous fragrance in my opinion. So I love that one. Amor Pour Italia is a clone of, what's that one called? It's a Zhirzhoff. Um, Italica. Heavenly Hibiscus, which usually isn't my thing, but this is supposed to be like Hibiscus Mahajad, and I actually really enjoyed it. Definitely a more sophisticated fragrance. And then Shades of Silence is a very easy wear because it's like a hundred silent ways. So those are good ones. And then I saw some of these other samples in here that I was like, what the heck? They're just sitting there. They're half used. Why not use them up? I've got Lost in a Dream by Navitus, which I have a full bottle of. I have Caramel Pop by Vivamore, which I honestly absolutely love how it smells, but it makes me want to eat caramel popcorn because it truly smells like that, so I cannot own a full bottle. Baklava Royale, which I'm obsessed with. I want to get a full bottle of that one. Shagaf Oud Tonka. I was kind of like, is this too much for the hot weather? But honestly, the florals in there are so beautiful that I think it might work, and I've used a good amount, so why not bring it? Then I have this one, which was just a random sample. Uh, Tiziana Terenzi Lintz. I don't know anything about that one. I have two little decants of Bianco Latte, so I thought, what the heck, I'll bring those. I hate that they're not a spray. Like, I hate that so much. Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid, which I have a review coming on. Stay tuned. I have Cabana Sunset. I also have a review coming of that. Stay tuned. I have a Little sample of Replica Beach Walk, which I do absolutely adore, so I thought that'll be perfect for heading to a tropical destination. And then I have three samples by Dead Cool Red Dakota, which is a beautiful citrus. Usually not my thing, but I do really enjoy it. Sunlit Blooms, which is a really pretty summer, floral, slightly creamy scent. And then Extra Milk. So I think this will be so fun to play with these. I hope I use them all up while we're gone. At least the samples. I probably won't get through all the travel sprays and the full bottle, no way. But I would love to use up these samples and have more room over there for other samples. So I think that will be awesome. I'm truly excited to play with these and get to know the fragrances better. Such a good way to do so, packing them on a trip. Like I have no other option but to wear them. I can't run down and decide on something else in my collection. So this will be such a great test. See which ones I really love. What do I need a full bottle of? What do I not? I'm very excited to play with these on vacation. Also a little nervous that I'm leaving some behind that I usually take with me, but I feel like this is a challenge I can accept. All right, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely keep you posted on what my thoughts are on these fragrances I'm taking on the trip. I am so excited to go on vacation, like so, so excited. And I'll definitely be sharing some content with you. Like I said, I have those reviews coming. I feel like there's some really great content coming your way. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys so soon. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Bye-bye. <laughs>